My name is David Rosania. I am a junior at the William Penn Charter School in Philadelphia. I graduate in the class of 2022, and I'm a defensive tackle for the football team. It, it, was, it was a rough year. Um, I think as the, the year came, came around, I think the pandemic lifted just enough, so I guess a small group of people could get together and throw a football around, do some drills. That was the closest I could get before the season started. It's been a challenge, but I think, you know, the students were more set up to, to really deal with the pandemic and COVID um, because of how well they work with technology. You know, so, you know, for us in our program, they get all their information sent to them. We have all their workouts online, our, our messaging board. Um, all those workouts allow us to track their progress. They can actually upload videos. Um, and then they can also, you know, communicate back and forth with their needs. I want to be in the best physical shape I can be. So anything that'll help me get off the line faster or improve my lifting, I'll do that. I want to be stronger, I want to be bigger, I want to be faster off the line. My main focus with Dave when he comes in is, is injury prevention. The goal is to, to keep him on the field, keep him healthy as possible. Uh, we work on building abdominal strength as well as mobility and flexibility. Um, but we also work on, on power as well as um, acceleration and speed training. I'm a three-sport athlete. I joined the winter and spring track team my freshman year, and so I never really had an off-season. What separates Dave the most from other linemen is going to be his feet. You know, big guys you think brute strength. Uh, for Dave, he's got very fast feet. He's also very mobile. He's able to, to bend and move and get into different positions that big guys usually don't get in. For me as a coach, when I send um, anybody to any college program, you want kids that are going to move well. At the end of the day, if they don't have a foundation and they don't move well as, as individuals, that's where the injuries build up and pile on. And for us, that's, a, that's the foundation of our program. My name is Tom Coyle. I am the head football coach here at the William Penn Charter School. I see David as a guy who is, who is extremely quick off the ball on defense. I see him as a guy who, who can occupy two guys. Uh, I see him as a guy who can split a double team and I see him as a guy who's just going to make plays and, and not only make plays himself but allow our linebackers you know to run around and make plays behind him. Academics come first for me. My GPA is a roughly 3.5. I'm an AB student. I'm, I'm really interested in math and science, I'm like an environmental science guy. I participate in the school band. I, I'm, I've been interested in music since I was little. I played the piano. Once I got to, to Penn Charter, I I started picking up the trombone, and I still play the trombone <laughs> to this day. It's definitely one of my hobbies. So I have an, I have an older brother, Daniel. Um, he's 21, and he has special needs. So I've been a part of the special needs community. I've worked with his Challenger basketball. I, I attend the uh, Naval Fit classes that are held at Outlaw. I, I'm definitely I've been helping out the special needs community. I like doing it. I separate from peer pressure and peer motivation. So if like if my peers are motivating me to do something for a good cause, I'm going to do that. Sometimes you have to sacrifice having time with your friends and being out there on the field. Dave has a good head on his shoulders, um, and I think that comes from Penn Charter. Um, and one of the great things about Dave is Dave listens, and then he takes what's given to him, and then he uses it as a lesson. So whether that's a, a, a failure or a mistake, especially with training or a football game, um, Dave sees that more as a lesson than an actual failure. He's able to build up from what, he, what just happened. I learn, I learn from my mistakes. So if it's during a game, I make a mistake, I just move on from it into the next play. And I'll look that over in film and correct myself until I, until I get it perfect. Working at the college level previously, you need kids that are going to come in and you're going to be able to continue to build them and grow them. And also you need somebody who's going to absorb your culture and, and be able to kind of mold to what you want to build as a program. And, and that's really what we look for in our, our kids. And I think that translates to the college level because, you know, every college program needs guys like that, program guys. So I see, I see Dave being a great program guy who's going to continue to work hard, you know, absorb the culture of the team wherever he goes. I may not be like the biggest, I may not be the strongest, but I have that mentality that if you put a challenge in front of me, I will work my butt off to get through that. The disappointment we shared in not having him on the field as a junior, as it was, you know, we played two football games. Uh, 
you know, Dave is mature enough to understand that was life. You know, it's something he had to deal with. It's important for him to not only play uh, football at a high level in high school, but he looks forward to being a great college football player. And I think that any college football program, any college football team that has uh, that has David on their on their team, that coach is going to be very happy. I think that he's the ultimate teammate. He brings a work ethic to, to practice and the weight room every day that is unmatched. Uh, we see him as a guy who has leadership skills, uh, and we see him as a guy who's just a tough kid that loves to play the game of football.